What's up everybody, Avian here. This week I sought out some questions from you on my social media platforms and I wanted to answer them for you in a video, which I'm delighted to do right now. First question is from a guy called Lynx. He asks me when and how did I decide that being support was my main? Well, to be honest with you, I joined the game back in 2012 and I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft and I always played healers and things Prior to being a gladiator rogue in PvP, I was a little bit of a nerd, right? But when I joined League in 2012, I played a lot of the support roles such as Soraka, Janna, Tarek, and I kind of got into the method of doing a bot lane and I began to understand it. And I played it over the seasons and I loved it. I like playing support because I can like defend my team and I can be map aware so I know when enemies are coming to gank, blah, blah, blah. I can ping that to my team on the, the smart pings on the map. And generally like warding, just trying to organize objectives. I generally like that sort of team management Thing that support allows me to do. However, recently I did start playing a lot of AD carry. The second question is from a guy called Yifi M. It says, can you play the marry fuck kill game with League Legends characters? So if I really have to answer that, do I? I don't think so. I guess I would screw, see, appropriate, Tarek, logic, no, Ezreal. I would marry Tarek and I would kill Leona, because she doesn't like Tarek, right? Who doesn't like Tarek? Jacob the Ob God. I said Ob, not Odd. Should I try again? Jacob. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "When did you join CG?" Um, 2012, in like October. November? No, like late October 2012. I'm pretty sure. Spazzy has a video about it. You can probably watch it here because I'm going to put a link there right now because that's what you do when you're trying to explain things, right? Cool. Jung Jung! He said to me, why does Janna never get played in the recent season? I think she does get played, but generally at the moment I think a lot of the mage supports are kind of like weakening a little bit and I think the tankier ones are being played a lot more. So I would say Thresh, Blitzcrank, Leona, Tarek, Alistair are more popular right now and I guess they kind of overpower the mage ones because of... I don't know, why do they? Anyway, that's what I think. Does that help? One of the questions was from Jerry God. He said that did I think that Britain was one of the best countries in the world? And if yes, then why? Um, it's pretty great to live in, I think. But um, I really like traveling a lot. And um, I think there's a lot out there to see. And I, pr I know that like Holland, for example, has amazing place for cyclists and they have all the roads for us. And wow, if I live there, that would be great. But I'm sure there's better places, right? I, yeah. I guess there's a lot of nice places in the world to live in, but England's pretty cool. The next question is from It's Stuart, and it asks me, where am I from in the UK? I'm north, like way north, in a place called Newcastle, upon Tyne. Good night. Foxdrop's fangirl, hey, pretty lady. She asks me where, uh, what my favorite fan is, <laughs> not where, um, and she loves my videos and streams. That makes me happy. Um, yeah, um, my favorite fan, I don't really have one, actually. I know like many of the names in my head of people that I've spoken to on Twitch and YouTube and Twitter and but really like I think that I just like communicating with a lot of you and well as many of you as I can actually good okay see you later banana you just asked me what my favorite food was right after I'd had it if I could eat pizza every single day without getting fat I think it would be like the best diet in the world eeny meeny can you turn off your handsomeness I don't know. Can I? Thanks though. Pascal Nacht asks me if I have any dreams. Yeah, of course. I really want to progress in my career. If you guys don't know what I do, I'm a therapeutic radiographer, which is basically um, a guy who has an x-ray in a machine and fires it at like cancer and tries to help people. That's really an awesome job and I like it and I would love to progress. As a dream, I don't know if that counts. Uh, I would love to be able to play my guitar to like groups of people but for some reason I'm super nervous so I've never done that and maybe like it would be cool to do an open mic night that would be like a dream or play to some friends or something who knows what the future has um, but there's lots of things that I'm excited about and dream and hope and stuff you know. Khaled Gamal. I had to read that before I pronounced it because uh, it was pretty hard actually. 
What is your thoughts about the Mages update? Uh, pretty cool. I feel like they've really modernized them and injected kind of real action into the game. What I mean by that is everything's more AoE based. Cassiopeia is brilliant to play with so far. I'm really enjoying the expansions to Brand and Zyra, like they're incredible. Like generally overall, it seems like there's uh, a few more things that could be played in support as well, which I think is quite cool to consider. So, um, so yeah, they're my thoughts on the Mages updates. Matsi Niskir, you asked me, uh, why did I start making videos? To be honest with you, I started making videos as uh, doing support guides, right? And the reason that I did that was because I believed that if I could teach something to somebody else, that would show me that I truly understood. And then like, I've kind of carried on doing them and I've got this job at the hospital and they've been less consistent, right? And then I've also became very involved with CG and things like that. And a lot of the videos have been about guides, right? The thing is, I like teaching and I want to do it a lot, but at the same time, I kind of want to inject more about me into the videos, you know? So hopefully that's a thing that all of you guys will take on board and it'll be awesome. Mm. Christopher Kraft, thank you for this very personal question. I have to answer it because they're the rules of the video. Huh. It says, do you have a significant other and whether you do or don't, well, in fact, I do. His name is James and he's in the other room over there. We've been together like three years, right? And he's also asking what I look for and what's important if I was to search or look for a partner. Now, to be honest, if I'm looking for somebody, I want them to be like tall, handsome, attractive, strong, funny, outgoing, spontaneous, the lot, right? But when you're with somebody and then you find that actually they kind of have like five out of six of those things, or sorry, James, um, <laughs> and you have your, your life and you can go on and do your thing and they can go on and do their thing, but you can be together, understand each other, care for each other, compassion, have fun together, just be spontaneous and do your lives, but be together. I think that's really awesome. Now, Callum Talon, you just asked me what was my favorite childhood game. To be honest with you, I've got to say, uh, like, Zelda or maybe Sonic the Hedgehog. Then he asks me if I had to align myself to a lead faction based on my ideals more than my champions, I would say that I'd have to go with Sharima because I really want to kind of be camp and manly and Sharim everybody, you know? Now, the next one was from Alora Paroki. Why did I do that with your surname? She says to me, Someone who's played Lee for quite a while now and still sucks major peen. Do you have any quick tips on improving? Um, yeah. I guess everyone says watch yourself back and watch streams and kind of watch players and learn and read more guides and practice and things like that. I would personally say uh, follow all of that advice, it's really good. But if you're kind of sick of League of Legends, take a break, play another game, that's a really good alternative. And another thing to do to improve is to practice your last hitting in custom games and on the app. Check out that video. Uh, I really mean it. It really helps, trust me. And I guess it depends on your attitude, right? Like, have you got one of those attitudes that's like, oh, okay, well, we, we lost this game, but I believe I did this, 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 and if I do this, 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 next game, I can change that and improve. If you've got kind of like a learning and a positive approach, or if you're negative, go and play another game. Pizza Eye Suifu. I think that's how you say that. Do you watch anime? And if so, what is your favorite one? So one time I actually watched a film with James called Spirited Away. Uh, and I really thought that was quite cool. But apart from that, I haven't really seen or watched much anime. And somehow I just swiped right on my phone and there was no more questions. So thanks guys for sending those in. I hoped you bared with me and got to the end of this video. If you did, uh, I will be uploading a League of Legends video as my next one. Stick in for what that is going to be. I'm not entirely sure. If you have any ideas, put them in the comments below. But until then, if you liked it, hit the button, of course. See you later.